everybody. Good afternoon. It's Sammy from the Black Room. I hope you had a great day today. I uh, wanted to come on and do a video for you because I uh, recorded a video about why the market is falling yesterday. And I think it was a pretty popular video. If you didn't see it, feel free to check it out. It talk, I talked about the psychology of what's going on, exactly what's driving prices down. Um, and I briefly mentioned um, a breakdown pattern that I did on a breakdown play that I did on FCF, I believe. Yeah, it was FCF. And today I did the same thing on uh, GG, which is a gold stock that was that was a gapping down also. But let's go ahead and revisit that pattern because I don't think I, um, you know, I just made a comment about it. I didn't really go over it in detail. And it's truly, truly my favorite breakdown, breakout pattern of all time. It applies to the downside exactly the same way it does to the upside, meaning long and short doesn't really matter. The breakdown pattern is this. You have a stock that's in a downtrend, right? And then the stock bounces. But instead of uh, putting in a, uh, instead of continuing higher, it's in a downtrend. So naturally it comes back down to the prior lows and instead of breaking the prior lows, it goes sideways at the prior lows. Off the declining 20, ideal, would be ideal. That's my favorite breakdown pattern of all time. This becomes basically a shakeout or a breakout failure on the larger time frame. And, the, and then what, what this pattern is, is this. Now, we, have, we always have traders that buy at the prior lows. Right, so when the stock comes, retests the prior lows, they jump in long, but this stock is weak. So instead of bouncing hard, it goes sideways. And so you have all these longs that bought it, the 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 bottom fishers, right? And the double because of the double bottom also, the ones that bought it the last time here got rewarded. Rewarded traders always look to repeat their actions. Right? Always repeat their, their actions. They buy it there again. But instead of bouncing, it actually goes sideways, which proves how weak the stock really is. Let me just clear the, uh, get rid of that uh, chart. It proves how weak the stock is. So this is what's known as transfer of demand. Demand becomes supply once the stock breaks down. Why does it become supply? Because their stops get hit. So that's called the transfer of demand become, and becomes supply. And now you have a br breakdown because it's based on the prior lows that has so much more supply than just a normal breakdown play and usually drops hard. So yesterday I talked about the FCF. If you want to check it out, feel free. Uh, yesterday's video. Today I did the same thing on GG. I traded the GG twice today, but w one time it was in the afternoon. Shortly after I came on the mic, I come on the mic, we, we take a, a short lunch break, and then I come on, on the mic at 12.45, so check it out. <laughs> it broke down, but look what happened. We had the sell-off, we had actually a base, and then a rally, and then a, a, a retracement back to the low of the day, and then another base. Perfect. Off the moving average, so that was the, the short, right, off the five-minute chart. I flipped it, but I was on the mic, and I didn't really do a good job uh, on the on the flip, meaning I got in, got out, and then I just let it go after that. But that was the play, the breakdown play. I did also short the GG at the open uh, while I was on the mic this morning, but I didn't get filled much. I, I kept shorting it with 100, 200, and 300 shares at a time because it was on an uptick. Um, and so I just didn't really get filled much at all this morning, even though that was the big drop. But that's the pattern. Here it is. It's it's very simple. It's very unassuming, so to speak. But here it is one more time. You have a downtrending stock that bounces and then comes back down to the lows and bases at the lows. And then off the, once the moving average, the 20-period moving average catches up, it breaks down. That's the pattern. So the upside it would be the same thing. A rising stock that pulls back, goes back up to the highs, and bases. This becomes the transfer of supply. The prior high has supply uh, that overwhelmed the demand. That's why we actually came in. And then in this case, goes back up to the prior high. And instead of pulling back, or instead of also powering through it, it goes sideways. Once the moving average catches up, stock breaks out, 
and then the rest is history, so to speak. So this was my favorite, my my best trade. Uh, during the day, I like to uh, not show my open positions like so, because this way, you know, you have a as soon as you exit your position, uh, you know, you have a clean P and L. You don't waste time or you looking at your positions that you've already uh, got out of. But at the end of the day, when I take a picture, I always take a look at what I did. And uh, so that was the GG, by the way, 2,900 bucks. I had a few other trades. I had a pretty bad trade today on the Twitter. Uh, it was a very expensive breakfast. <laughs> I uh, I played the Twitter long. I'll just show, go ahead and show you the Twitter. This was a nice looking buy setup uh, here. And it triggered long. I didn't really realize that I had. I knew I had a little bit more than uh, more size than I needed to have, but I didn't know I had twice as much, right? So I, I played it long, and then it looked good. I, that was the time to step away and get something to eat. So I stepped away for a little while, and then it was, uh, and it came back. It was down a lot, uh, and then I just let it stop out, which was under 74, under 31.74. If I was around. Of course, I would have killed it under 31, uh, 32, uh, 20. Should be 32, 17. Why? Because here's the green bar. Here's the red bar. If we break and then we got a, a, a kind of a double bottom, if we break under the double bottom, under the two green bars lows, of course it's going to fail. So I would have actually killed it right here. But um, instead, I, I let it stop out because when I came back from breakfast, I... It was already down a lot, so I just let it stop out. So that was that was kind of the unfortunate, the bad trade on my part today. Otherwise, I had uh, I had a couple of okay trades. I had the EQT. Uh, I'll show you the EQT. Also another breakdown, EQT. Uh, I'm not usually a breakdown kind of guy, but uh, another. Uh, how can you not like this? I mean, how can you not love this? Stock is in a downtrend. Market is at the highs. This stock is was basing at the lows, at the low of the day, right? and then breakdown. I almost slipped it. I was on the mic again in the afternoon. I, I said over 80, I think, 3380 or so, 3381. There it is. And I said you could play it long because the stock was climactic on the daily chart. So as a flip, it would have actually worked better. It would have actually worked better as a long. But I actually only did the short, this breakdown play, and covered at the lows. So this was a good trade, good exit, um, so that was good. And then I did the EFX. EFX, I was 100% sure about it this morning as a climactic buy. But I didn't do it. You know why? And this has been a huge problem for me uh, lately. At the open, the spreads are way too wide, wide. Stocks are way too wild. But I was really, really sure about this. I let it go. It had about 50 cents spread. It rallied 10 bucks in like 10 minutes. Look at this from 90.50 in virtually 10 minutes to 98, no, yeah, to 98, so $8, $8. In about probably 10 minutes or so, as one minute time frame. I let it go, but in the afternoon, here's what it did. It based, it had a shakeout, and this is called a shakeout, see this? And then, so a breakout failure, and then it's based and then broke down. It didn't really drop much, but you know what? Just from here to here, that's, dollar seventy to where it closed that. So I traded it a couple times short, not long, and I made I think a thousand bucks or nine nine hundred uh, nine sixty four. So one of these cancels out the Twitter, <laughs> and then the and then these other small ones, you know, they, these are just like in and out trades. Uh, you know, you get into a trade and you realize, oh no, that's not a good one. You, I I like to get out of it right away. If I realize it's not doing what 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 I think it what I thought it was supposed to do, so I just let it go rather than um, rather than continue to uh, manage it and pay attention to it. So those are you know kind of nothing trades, right? Small tiny losses, small gains, right? Doesn't matter. But the main ones are these three: one, two, four. These are the main ones. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I meant to wanted to keep it uh, uh, short and sweet, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. And do learn that uh, transfer supply, transfer of demand concept, which is again is my favorite breakdown, breakout pattern of all time.
Um, I'll catch you uh, next time with another video. If you're in the black room, I'll talk to you tomorrow at 9 in the morning. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Thank you.